Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're still going over uh, Star Citizen. Today we will be doing part two of my last video from uh, last week, which is Kovalex, Comms Ray, uh, Cry Asher, and ICC Scam Pro. So, as you see here, I'm looking up my uh, next mission here, which is the uh, comm tech mission. So I'm getting ready to go into the uh, comms array and take out a couple of uh, pirates and then I will go ahead and go to Cry Astro where I'll uh, refuel, stock up on ammunition and uh, go out to continue on my mission where I'm ultimately killed in the end by a pirate who decided to turn into a biting ring. So, uh, as soon as I figure out how Sometimes this thing glitches a lot, so my uh, HUD wasn't popping up for me to access the door. Get back in my ship. So we're going to get back in the pilot seat, and we're going to take off from here, right? So I know this is this video is a couple of weeks old. Uh, I was supposed to be doing this video maybe three, four weeks ago in sections, uh, part one and part two, but you know, with work, I got a little bit behind. But um, anyway, as we all know that now we are pretty much uh, testing out 2.4 in the PTU. Uh, I got my invite this Saturday or Friday or Saturday, last Friday or Saturday I got my invite and um, it was it was pretty good. It's pretty good to see some different content in there. It was actually good to go down to Cry, uh, go down to the uh, Art Corp and actually purchase items however they start you off with about 2500 UEE uh, alpha UEE so I didn't want to really spend that I wanted to kind of uh, grind out some of my uh, currency before I start spending on stuff because uh, there's a couple of things that I want to get and I don't want to just go ahead and get it in pieces <clears throat> uh, I, I wanted to actually piece together an outfit without you know mismatching or anything um, so I decided I wanted to grind out a little bit more but it was definitely very good to see that kind of content in the game uh, it's very good to see where CIG is going with this uh, the mechanics of everything that's happening uh, we also know that um, <clears throat> in 2.4 they changed the keypads the key key bindings so what I ended up doing um, I went ahead and I exported my key bindings to my uh, from my live folder so I'm actually gonna go in and look up uh, see if those if I can pull those bindings out of that folder and put them into a different folder somewhere just in case once the live uh, once 2.4 goes live and it overwrites that I want to be able to go ahead and put those key bindings back in so uh, I am not comfortable with the new key bindings that they have uh, some of them were great uh, I know at, at least for the gamepad I use a 360 uh, controller uh, for a gamepad to uh, walk around and actually when I'm looking over my ships in the 360 view I sit in the cockpit or whatever the gun toward if I'm in a multi crew ship and I'll use that to pan around it's a lot more uh, to me it's easier than uh, using a mouse where it's a little choppy so um, here you'll see me going in going into the comms array you saw me blow up the pirate uh, when I came in I actually cut a little bit of footage out um, I got a little distracted messing around with the kids and the fight took a little bit longer than expected anticipated so I actually cut out a good couple of minutes of the fight um, and it also took a while because I am not used to flying around in my Avenger. Usually I'm flying around in my Sabre and uh, I'm actually starting to just get the hang of using the uh, Wreck system. So I uh, actually rented out a few weapons and mounted them on my Sabre. And then I realized that it had no uh, one of the weapons. I, it's very powerful. I did not like the range on it though. So what I ended up doing was 
I took that one off of there and I put it on the nose of my Avenger. So I went to try out my Avenger just to see how it was, and it uh, definitely helped out on the nose. So we'll go with that one here. Getting back into my ship after uh, turning the comms right back on. Yay, me. Um, so, one thing I would say about 2.4 is the EVA. Uh, maybe it's just the fact that 2.4, you know, the, the PTU is not optimized the way uh, it is when it goes live, but it's very choppy. Uh, my character, when doing EVA was horrible. I mean horrible. I, I couldn't even focus. I actually have the video uh, that I posted of me doing the 2.4 testing out this weekend. I'll post that in the links down below. But uh, it, it was very choppy. Uh, I, I couldn't really move. Uh, I didn't know what the uh, button to accelerate my character was. I know if you uh, if you were still on the live version that is now which is 2.3 you hold the shift button and it will accelerate your character, uh, pretty much launch him a little bit further and faster than uh, just using the key controls. Um, they rebinded everything so I couldn't find that button so I used to say EVA for me to uh, EVA from one landing pad to another it took me about five minutes so I cut a good couple of that, a uh, little bit of that out in that video but uh, I, I did, wasn't a fan of that. So, key bindings. Uh, if you want to know how to export your uh, key bindings, I will upload a short video explaining how to do so. And um, I'll make sure that you guys can save your character's key bindings before the PTU goes live. So, with that being said, um, Hopefully soon we will be getting it. Uh, hopefully within the next week or two, really. Uh, I haven't really been playing Star Citizen as much as I as uh, I have been for the past four months. Um, I got into the game back in December. Uh, actually, the end of December, pretty much January first, was uh, when I actually started playing when I finished downloading. Um, got into the game back in Jan January, and I started playing. And just trying to see what I could do in the game. However, the computer I was using was really hard. I mean, it was bad. I, I couldn't even get into the PTU half the time. So um, the GPU on that was a 460M because it was a laptop. So um, it was bare minimum. And when I say you play a game on bare minimum specs, you get bare minimum quality with the game. So I didn't really get much gameplay in. Um, I recently, about a month and a half ago, just got this computer that I'm using now, the 750, in it, and it is running the game perfectly fine. Uh, run it in HD, and uh, I, I, I can run it in actually high graphics with no issues, no worries at all. Only time I run into anything is when I start listening to music and uh, I'm, I'm recording and doing several other things on the computer multitasking that's actually when uh, the the game actually starts to like uh, lag a little bit I guess you could say so definitely a good purchase this was good investment I paid 500 bucks for it and here pretty soon in the next couple of days Nvidia will be releasing for sale their 1080s and their 1070s um, I think I'm gonna go with the 1070. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the 1070 in my computer. So that'll be uh, pretty fun for that. Check that out, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, actually use VR, other upgraded qualities in that. But anyway, I'm getting off track a little bit. So here, I went to the ICC probe. I'm speed you up a little bit. Went to the ICC probe, uh, and the. Uh, Cry Astro. I fueled up with Cry Astro, went to ICC Probe, and here I am getting out of my ship. This part actually took me a while to actually locate the beacon. But once I found the beacon, I, um, I cut all of that of me searching. It was about a good 10 15 minutes of me searching for this thing. Um, but you go out here and you push the little button, get back in your ship, you take it back to, to the ICC, 
and then they'll tell you uh, uh, they'll give you a follow-on mission I guess you could say it's a follow-on mission so you go out there your follow-on mission and uh, it was that mission right there where I caught some serious hell not really not really I rocked in there thinking I was a superhero in my saber and I was going to win and I guess the uh, 325 has more armor than the Avenger because he definitely rammed into me until I blew up. So we'll get there a little bit later. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm having no issues at all EVA right now. So if they can uh, do something with the EVA for 2.4 when it releases, either keep it the same or uh, optimize it a little bit better, that would be good. So speaking of 2.4, right? We're gonna go into 2.4 a little bit here, um, a little bit more. So the hanger option. They got rid of the, ho the hollow table, right? Yes, the hollow table was very annoying, right? Uh, I guess you would say it was annoying probably because you couldn't really see what you were doing half the time. It was just, it was just bad. It was just bad. Ho hopefully, when they bring it back, it will be uh, ten times better and this hanger option thing I'm not a fan of. Um, maybe if they were to go ahead and let uh, uh, the, the little reticles that they have on the ground were had an easier uh, a bigger hitbox maybe per se because trying to actually get those things to pop up and turn green it took me a while to, to actually to, uh, be able to use those things. It took me a while. So uh, I wasn't a fan of that. However, I do like the fact that I can store my retaliator on the same landing pad as my uh, cutlass. And I had my cutlass, my retaliator, I had my hornet, which is actually my no loner for the prospector. Um, so I had my hornet, I had my saber, and my third ship was, uh, I, I think it was my Avenger. Um, I, I can't remember. What, uh, it, was, it was my Avenger, I think. So now they did take away all the other bays, unless there was another way to uh, unlock all your bays that I'm not tracking. I'm not sure. Of. Um, I, I couldn't figure out how to open up the other bays to actually go through my my bay my uh, my fleet of ships that I have. They have nine total ships. Um, well. 10 total if you count the prospect of this not in hangar um, so I couldn't really go through I was a little upset about that actually when I log in like to see all my ships just lined up it, you know it, to me it just looks pretty awesome but anyway 2.4 they're testing it maybe they were testing they're testing out the uh, how they want to go about using this system so they kept it to just that one bay area and they let you put four or five ships in there um, so I like where they're going with it it needs a little bit a little bit more refining uh, to me um, another thing is my retaliator I love my retaliator but if I'm out in space and I happen to walk over one of my uh, air docks I don't want to fall out through space so I was in my hangar and I went out was walking through my my, uh, my retaliator and walked over one of my dock my air docks and just fell through the floor several times it was like every of uh, my turrets I, I fall through so hopefully they can fix that patch and that'll be better and um, we'll go from there so here we are, locate the pirate, All right, uh, ICC sent me back in to uh, go help out a patrolman out in this part of the uh, sector here, swoop in like Superman, and I start laying some damage on the guy, <laughs> and he showed me otherwise, yeah. So. I'm done talking for now. Till next time, I will see you later. I will link the video to my other, uh, my, my previous video 
with the 2.4 patch update in here at the bottom of this. And um, next time, I'll, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.